gates are back and they fired away. High dollar tipsy Malpori just a little bit slow to go. Love Shack came out running. Prankster right there. Prankster now slides off to the lead. Give me the limelight and the yellow. Raced up into second as Prankster just tugs away. Love Shack at the rail. Then two lengths away to Bright Duchess. Princess Virginie is back in fifth place. Marpori's taken a bit of a hold. Then comes Devilishly Gorgeous. The grey racing around midfield. Kept company by a Tibetan voyage. Then comes High Dollar Tipsy. The pace not on. That's not helping her cause. Then comes Silent Whisperer followed by Captain's Destiny. The back of the field is Dream Searcher through the final seven. 700 meters they go. Prankster in a better rhythm is in front by around one length. Give me the limelight second. Love Shack well placed the rail third. A length away Princess Virginie. Black Sleeves and Blue Cap. Marpori and Bright Duchess all race together. Devilishly gorgeous Blue Sleeves and Cap is up the far side. High Dollar Tipsy. Then comes Tibetan Voyage. A few lengths away Silent Whisperer. Then came Captain's Destiny and a long way back to Dream Searcher. 250 meters left to run. Love Shack attacks. Prankster. Then comes Bright Duchess. Give me the limelight nothing to come from princess virginie but bright duchess goes and joins up front with love shack and bright duchess finishing strongly at love shack bright duchess the winner love shack ran second third went the way of gimme the limelight fourth prankster involved with uh, at their outside devilishly gorgeous Bright Duchess is the winner of race number two. Craig Zaki, Dean Kaname, a team up with his daughter of Duke of Marmalade, bred and owned by the Drakenstein stud nominee Gaynor Rupert. Just wrestles off number 16, Love Shack. And Gimme the Limelight was always there and thereabouts, but ultimately victory is for Bright Duchess by a half a length. Love Shack second, Gimme the Limelight third. Fourth is a close thing with Prankster up the inside, devilishly gorgeous nearest us. Goes the way of the grey, devilishly gorgeous. In fourth, then came Prankster. They were ahead of Tibetan Voyage, Princess Virginie. Then came Marpuri. A few lengths away, High Dollar Tipsy. Captain's Destiny. And then came Dream Searcher. So the winners towards the right-hand side. She came from around midfield, the Bright Duchess. Prankster went off to the lead. Was a bit enthusiastic up front, showing signs of needing it. So we'll come on with the run under the belt. Love Shack is in the Tiger Woods colours, the red with a black cap. And uh, pressed the whole way. Always looked dangerous, but outrun late. Give me the limelight always sticking around over the closing stages. But victory in race number two was for number six, Bright Duchess. That's the opener of the bipod. The PA begins at 13.35, and the PA at Hollywood Bet Scottsville also gets underway in the not-so-distant future. Race time in their second race in Maritzburg is 20 past one.